So today I've been playing with the Atlas milling machine rebuild and I played with it all day yesterday. So basically what I've done is taken all the castings that I've got pretty well cleaned up and primed now. And I put stuff back together because I still got a lot of machining to do. I've got some pattern making to do for some parts that I knew need for it yet. And um, I wasn't making any progress with it all sitting in a sitting on a shelf here. So I'll just show you what I got going on and uh, give a quick little overview and we'll be proceeding with this. So I guess before I move the camera around, I needed the plate that goes on the back of the headstock. So today I spent building the pattern for that or starting the pattern for that. So that'll fit on the back of the headstock. And uh, all this is is some tempered hardboard. I laid it out, cut it, and I've uh, glued up the, the standoff on the inside and this still has to be sanded. I've got to fill the back because since it's tempered hardboard way, it's got the rough back on it and I'll have to put fillets in it and things like that. Go ahead and sand and radius the edges, but it won't take long and that'll be ready to go. So we've got that going on. I have uh, printed up the, a couple of the on-off switch labels that go on the, that go on the mills. Actually, they fit a couple of the different machines, but um, I got a couple of them printed out this morning, so I'll have to finish them out. I've got the label that shows the model and serial number. The It says Atlas Machine, Kalamazoo, Michigan, all that good stuff. That's got the red in it that goes on the front of the mill. I've got that just about edited out, so it's about ready to print, probably another oh, three, four hours, and I'll have that done and, and ready to print. And uh, I plan on just printing that with the with the model number and the serial number that I assign it, I'm going to go ahead and print them right in there rather than stamping it because sublimating onto those onto the sheets and then trying to stamp them why it cracks the coating on them, I found. So uh, first couple I did, I had real good luck with, didn't have any problems at all. But when I stamped the ones for on the shell and why they cracked out the, the uh, sublimation coating that's on the metal itself. So we're going to go back and I'll reprint them. I've already edited that up and got them ready. I'm just waiting on materials for them. But nonetheless, I've got the castings all together. You're not going to see me do a whole lot of machining on this yet because I'm trying to get the new Sheldon laid done. I'd rather uh, be machining on that machine than I would on the old Sheldon. Mm -hmm. Sheldon's got the one that I've been running for years, so it's got a lot of wear in it. And I would just prefer, that's why That's why I haven't turned the spindle for the grown-up corn tool and cutter grinder and things like that. So I put a lot of those little projects on hold that I should be finishing up, but I, I'm kind of hold not trying to get the other machine ready to go. So anyway, let me bring you down here so you can see this machine. Um, everything's just kind of locked in place, but uh, I've got to probably the next pattern making will be the door that goes on the front. So I'll probably do this door and I'll be building some of the little parts. I've got to build the stop, the depth stop that goes here. Uh, the table's put in place, although there's no uh, cross feed nut. Don't have the nut, don't have that assembled. Um, knee will raise and lower, no problem. I don't have shims in it, so it's tightened down and just locked in place. But otherwise, that's there. And there's still some cleanup to do, but basically, these are the main parts of it. Uh, the As far as castings go, I still lack the mounting, the counter shaft assembly, the motor mount, and uh, basically all the castings that go on the back. So I'm going to build patterns for those and just get them ready to go. So otherwise, and I've got the little cover that goes underneath this cast up. I was going to machine it today and I haven't made it that far. So maybe over the weekend I'll get that done. Anyway, it's progress. I'm a little bit excited about it again. One more project I'm trying to get done. I got uh, these back plate castings hopefully done. I did two of them. Here was a pattern I ended up with for that little back plate on the milling machine. So there's what I started out with for a pattern. Now one of these didn't act like it filled really the way it should have. So we'll pop them open and see what we got. You know, maybe we got something worth having or maybe we don't. I have to go through and mull all the sand again. Uh, it's been hot enough here that it uh, dried it out. These were kind of on the verge of maybe they were, maybe they were going to be okay to ram up molds and maybe they weren't. And they were a little bit dry, but uh, 
if they came out, well, we'll get real good castings out of them. This is not a complicated casting at all by any means. That one looks okay. I probably only needed one of these. I may, uh, now that I've got it, I'll probably finish out that, uh, do a little bit more finish work on this pattern. And um, still a little warm. A little more finish work on this paddle, pattern, and I'll have these on the website. Yeah, it'll be okay. A little bit of flashing on the edges. But all in all, that's a good usable casting. There's the first one. Yeah, this one's gonna be virtually the same. Sand was a little bit dry, and I noticed it didn't didn't pack real well around a couple of the edges. Um, but there again, that'll be a good path casting. We got two of them, so I'll go ahead and finish them up and machine them out.